a composer puts into it, or in this case, a whole group of composers put into it, is not necessarily what you will get out of it. Because the subjectivity or the emotions and so on that go in will interact with what you're going to hear. And that may be something totally different. Now, some of you may have studied music. Pity, really, because that often teaches out more things than it teaches in. Um, it's possibly taught you how you should listen to music, but there is no should in listening to music. Now, there is obviously in the music itself some meaning in it, but you will also be bringing all your experiences of music in too. Now, what are those sorts of experiences that you bring in? You bring in things like, that's a piano. I don't like the piano because I hated my piano teacher. Okay, so although the, the person playing the piano and the person writing for it might like the piano, it's no good for you. Or in this case, you're going to hear a song that you may know and you won't hear the song. You'll think, oh, I remember that song. And it was so important to me. I remember the time when I went to that lovely place with my grandma and we had ice cream and it was really lovely. So that's what I have called extrinsic meaning, meaning that you bring to the piece, which colors the way you see the piece. There's nothing wrong with that at all. The fact that you don't hear it like the people intended it or what they intended doesn't matter. You just hear it in the way you want to hear it. There's no right way, no wrong way of listening to music. Okay, you listen to music in whatever way and you bring. So when you hear the piece, don't think, oh gosh, I really should like it because it's these people really cared about it. But I don't like it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. You can start looking at why you don't. You don't need to think, oh gosh, I wonder what they meant by that. So you can wonder all the time. It is a wondering thing about what you're feeling and no feeling is right and no feeling is wrong. Music is expression. We can often express in music what we can't in other ways. This is Ruth Westheimer who was uh, um, exiled from her family by, um, because she was taken out of Germany to avoid the, the camps and her parents were killed in them. Um, in the Holocaust, what I do know is that the hopelessness I felt was so deep I could admit it only in song. So music has the power perhaps to express very deeply emotions that we can't capture any other way. Um, I don't know whether Rachel's back and whether I should be speaking. Am I all right, Rachel? Um, yes, you're okay, I'm back. Um, unfortunately to everyone, we can't get the closed captions working in this breakout room. Um, so my apologies about that. Um, I'm hoping everyone that needs it can access it via the stream text web page. Um, our apologies. Would anybody yes, say if it's a problem for them, put your hand up. Is anybody having trouble? I can't see the full gallery view. Can you see Rachel? Uh, not at the moment. Okay, I'll assume that it's all right. Yeah. Yes, so what happened on. was we, we ran a music workshop and we created lots and lots of different sounds um, and they were collected on Zoom and then it was put together with some sounds from the University of Winchester when my colleague Neil was working and put together with new poems which were created after the workshop. So music is always how do you put everything together? You've got all these bits and how do you put them together? So it was generated by a workshop organized by Disability Action Group and Inclusive Church. And it's a, a, people were asked to think about expressing musically their experiences during the pandemic. We had some what we called provocations and you've already heard Naomi talk and she sent us this poem. I'm not going to let you read all of it because you're going to get it in the piece. It was about isolation and so on. We had a wonderful poem here called Sunday After Easter One from Fiona, suddenly silenced some of the themes we've already heard, no words, full of emptiness. And you'll see that again later on. 
We had a wonderful set of pictures and a poem from Jonathan Evans, um, Be With Me, See Me Through, Through the Waters, Be With Me. And he's not leading an art workshop for nothing because he's also an artist. And we had his art there, Be, You Are With Me, Through Fire, Through Flame. So we had artworks, we had poetry, we had all sorts of things coming together. And then to that, um, one of the students at the university has Tourette's and he makes both music and poetry. And he added his own poem to it as well. Um, ring, 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 the sound that now belongs. Ring, 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 the chime that starts our song where he talks about, I love this bit here. Um, sometimes I do envy my next door neighbor's cat, climbing trees and chasing mice, they're free to roam outside while they're only mere, merely sits around forced to stay inside. <laughs> So it's his reflections of, on this time. So how, does, how do we put music together? Some of you will know this incredible piece, which I, I'm not even going to try and play because it taxes Zoom too much, really. But you know the piece by Smetana. It's the story of a river. And every so often, there's a tune that comes round, like a chorus in a song. So some of you will know the tune. Da dee da 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 dum da dum 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 da da dee da 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 dum dum da da. So it's a recurring chorus. So I thought that one of the ways we could put all these sounds together was to have a chorus. And what chorus did I choose? A piece that probably many of you know. Are you going to Scarborough Fair? Well, it's a journeying piece with lots of mystery in it, lots of curious questions. Uh, can you make a cambric shirt without any seam or needlework? So the, the University Folk Group recorded Scarborough Fair, and you'll hear it coming in as a recurring refrain, the path, as we move from one encounter in the wood to another. So we're in a wood, we're walking through it, Scarborough Fair's the path, and then we keep encountering things and people along the way. So what we're going to do with uh, Rachel's beautiful help is move from the PowerPoint presentation to listening. There we see some children engaged in listening. But you don't need just to listen. If you want to get a piece of paper, you can draw. You can join in because you're all muted, so you don't need to worry. You can join in with Scarborough Fair if, wherever you want to do it. Or you can draw like this person here drawing during it. Or you can just sit back and listen and follow the story. We're hoping to take you with this piece through the through the wood and see what you encounter. And then we'll be able to talk about it when we get back. Tell him to make me a cambric shirt, parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme, without a seam nor needlework. Then he'll be a true love of mine. 
Ring, 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 ring. The sound that now belongs. Ring, 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 ring. The chime that starts our song. Now all the world is stuck in place because of this disease. We can't meet up face to face as God forbid we sneeze. So I'll call you or you call me. We'll talk for an hour or two. Oh, what did I do today? I sat in my room. Ring, 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 ring. The sound that now belongs. Ring, 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 ring. The lockdown still goes on. I did the same as yesterday and the day before that. Sometimes I do envy my next door neighbor's cat. Climbing trees and chasing mice, they're free to roam outside, while their owner merely sits around, forced to stay inside. Ring, 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 ring. The sound that now belongs. Ring, 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 ring. So let's all clap along. I used to think we hated others. They were met with apprehension. Now all we ever want to do is give them some attention. They clap for all the doctors, the carers, and the teachers. But I'm starting to miss the local drunk who thought himself a preacher. Ring, 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 ring. The sound that now belongs. Ring, 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 ring. Where did it all go wrong? These calls, they bring us comfort when we're forced to stay and hide. They act as an escape from the silent chaos outside. I can't remember when they started and I don't know what they mean. But one day we'll meet face to face without a lit up screen. Ring, 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 ring. Never ending love. Ring, 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 ring. Welcome to the new normal. Saturday after Easter, one. Suddenly silenced, there are no words. Full of emptiness, within, without. Overcome, overlooked, overwhelmed. Withstand, standing for. Remain, staying with, withheld, but not held, hold out, hands, shaking, wounded, hold fast, fast, even fasting, even given way, given to way, fasting, way, emptily, emptied of that which is good, is good, and left. To trust in the waiting, emptiness, absence, absence. At least the tomb was full, knowing only the unknown at which even Jesus wept. After Easter comes what? No signs of resurrection in this new life. And yet, and yet, yet still, 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 wondering.
On Thursday, the men's legends. On Saturday, the silence of the voiceless. Familiar stories of the unanointed on the edge. Feet cleansed and the unwashed outsiders in the street who have no wine to drink, communion with the forgotten. Comfort for those he made his own, no consolation for us. Set apart from the rest who were not invited to the feast. Welcome words to see them through three days in hell, not for us, reminders. The joy to come, how not to fear. We know the absence of a word, of solace of man to man, crashing under the waves of fear without the boldness of Peter, holding our breath. On Friday in the new covenant, from a woman crying among shards of alabaster, Judas stole away with the money. To a slave who would be beaten that night, Peter denied him. It was Friday. They locked themselves away from the world. This is Saturday when you live alone. This is Saturday when we die alone. Try not to think about it. The leper who cannot pay for treatment you can afford to. And Lazarus flashing back to death in a months long harrowing of hell. The autistic man among the jagged tombs. So ease your minds by forgetting the trans woman fleeing pilot. And turn off the news of the immunocompromised without protection. Your bailouts from the tax collectors. The 70 year old in a hospital, one ventilator short. At least you're safe. Our existence has always been provisional on the goodwill of the men in the upper room, those who raise voices to drown out ours, closing their windows against our ugly noise down in the street. We must speak your language to be heard on this holy day. Vulnerable, high risk, child of God, and if we hold our own banquet when you shut us out, a little corner of heaven for those the king brought in, an afterthought, will you join us? Will you throw us out into the darkness? Wailing and gnashing of teeth will probably keep us quiet. This is Saturday when you wait. This is Saturday where we live. Join us for a season. This is Saturday. May you rejoice and be glad in it. With, through, with, through, be with me, see me through. Through the waters, be with me. Through the fire and flames, see me through. Through the darkest valley, walk with me. Through the Jordan, make a path. Walk with me, see me through. Through the fiery furnace, be with me. As with Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, the fourth of three, see me through. Through the shadows into death, walk with me, see me through. With your staff support, to your laden table with, with, through, with, through. Be with me, see me.
Yes, it's starting up now. We'll see it. Okay, minute, good. There we go. Steve's the image of the woods. <laughs> that's it. The image of the wood is, of course, one of going into the wilderness, going into the wildness, um, which we've had from from um, uh, Sam earlier on. And the, the, one of the musicals that is on the list to suggest you look at is Stephen Sondheim's Into the Woods. It's a journey into difficult places and, and it's music theatre. Um, and it becomes, music theatre can be, become a companion to us in our journey. And the Sondheim one in particular, where all sorts of mysterious woods, things happen. Um, and they might happen for better or for worse. It's a mixture, which one of you picked up so well, of sort of fear and exploration, curiosity, all sort of bound together. Trees have always been somewhat magical too. And many people have found a lot of solace I have in the birch tree in my garden and rediscovered that relationship. This is the famous tree song and the, the holiness of oak, ash and thorn. In, in England in particular, all on a midsummer's morn, surely we'll sing of a little, no little thing in oak and ash and thorn. There's a wonderful bit at the end, critiquing the church, which I haven't put on. Oh, do not tell the priest, the priest our plight, for he would call it a sin, for we've been out in the woods all night, a conjuring summer in. We bring you good news by word of mouth, good news for cattle and corn. Or as the sun come up from the south by oak and ash and thorn. So that notion of the merger now of creation and so on into the Christian tradition. Again, it's been an unhappy merger sometimes, but now we're really looking at it. I love this little one, this little cartoon. We aren't getting through, said the boy. Did we get through the last bit, asked the horse. Yes, said the boy. Then said the horse, we're getting through. I <laughs> think really rather nice. Um, and then the herbs. These are sacred herbs, parsley, sage, rosemary and thyme. A lot of work now is going on to exotic places and trying to find holy herbs from there. It's a shame really because we've got our own, which are parsley, sage, rosemary and thyme. <laughs> parsley for comfort, sage for strength, rosemary for love and thyme for courage. Parsley designed to take away bitter feelings the Stop Bad Breath, recorded a thousand years ago um, and from the Greek stone celery, but also used in wreath made of sage, and with, whose root in Latin comes from salvation, salvia officinalis. This draws on the Roman idea that sage would bring you longevity and offer you health and safety. And before being used in cooking, it was seen as a cure-all for everything. And part, interestingly, of four thieves' vinegar in the Middle Ages, which was thought to offer protection from plague. I don't know whether Donald Trump's picked that up yet. Um, so rosemary, part of also of four thieves' vinegar, um, enhancing memory, strong scent, part of wedding bouquets to remind people of their vows that they'd made. Um, rose marinus, the rose of the sea, dew of the sea, possibly because it thrives on the Mediterranean. And finally, thyme, with its long lasting scent, was placed in ancient Greece baths and was thought to ward off melancholy, so maybe it's a treatment for depression. It means to make a burnt offering, so it may have been used in incense as well. So that's the, the herbs we've got. And then the questions, many people said it's a very weird song, and it is a very weird song. It belongs to a set of songs, of question songs, some of which have no answers. Um, I gave, and some of which do, I gave my love a cherry without a stone, I gave my uh, chicken without a bone, I told my love a story which had no end, I gave my love a baby with no crying. So the cherry when in blossom has no stone. The chicken, when it's pipping, it has no bone. The story that I love you has no end. And a baby, when it's crying, has no, when it's sleeping, has no crying. But even behind that is this very curious song um, about wisdom, really, the devil's questions. And this one says, it's not a question of getting your true love, but you must answer my questions nine, sing 99 and 90, or, uh, or you're not gods, you're one of mine. So if you can find the wisdom 
but there's all these questions here. What is louder than a horn, sing 99 and 90? What is sharper than a thorn? You're the weaver's money. Thunder is louder than a horn. So there are answers here and so on. You have answered my questions nine, sing 99 and 90. You are gods, you're not one of mine. You're the weaver's bonnie. So the notion that wisdom is the counterbalance uh, to the devil and, and in the area of disability, many of us have a, 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 much, a much deeper ocean of human experience to dwell on than the people who have not been disabled. So maybe we have those questions, but the questions remain there. And for some of them, there are no answers. And so we go into the wilderness as Jesus did to find some of the answers. So it is a mystery, our life, and the wood is a mystery. What is art? What is poetry? What is music? Just one way of asking what it is to be human. And here we go back to the Moses story. The, um, the mystery of what I am and what you are has to do before or anything else with our capacity to create. It is sharing in the creative act. That is a sense of wonder. So sometimes we can't answer the question. We can only wonder at it. And the last thing, the music was largely improvised other than the singing of the song. So the background music was improvised in the workshop. And a lot of our teaching in the West on music has cut out improvisation, but it is a way of playing and we can improvise with singing. And that's a, a school for children with with very profound learning difficulties improvising. Music therapy employed um, improvisation. And here's an act of improvising, which brought soldiers together in, in one of the wars. So by entering a zone of play, they could enter into dialogue. Um, and so in play, we can try new ways of being ourselves. Everyone must be willing to allow one form of themselves to die so that they are really meant to be, can come to life. Or as Lewis Carroll put it, there is no use going back to yesterday where I was a different person then. So going into the woods, we may come out different. The classic play where that happens is the Midsummer Night's Dream, where of course everything's in chaos. They just go into the woods in Midsummer's. There's no therapy or anything in the woods at all, but somehow by romping around in the woods and getting lost, they come out different. It's a liminal space, the possible ability for personal transformation and encouraging people to think outside of the box. I'm not going to go into all of this it's, and so on, but I'm just going to go um, for the fact that uh, a lot of, that those strands are in the piece, the questioning, the uncertainty, uh, the playing, um, and the, que the, 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 uh, the questions and so on. So do feel free to go home and just make it up. Don't think about whether you're a musician or not. I think this is lovely. Um, they just made it up, the shanty men, just making it up. Don't worry about what your tone color is or whether you can make a sound like King's College, Cambridge. Just make the sounds that you want to make which can include growls and shrills and so on. So an event which can include everybody, a model of an inclusive society where everyone has a place. The leaders of it are frame builders, bringing everything together and where everyone can project and realize their potentials. And this is a new set of values for our society. It's not enough to imagine the global community new wider forms of association and different types of community will emerge. It is likely to be piecemeal, disjointed and largely unplanned. That's what this project was. <laughs> disjointed piecemeal, <laughs> largely unplanned. <laughs> but I hope that you found something and thank you for those comments um, in it. So thank you for your attention. I'm sorry I haven't had time to get all of you to tell your stories, but I did want to tell you the story of the piece. It wasn't written by one composer. It wasn't conducted by one conductor. It was made by a group of people, as Rachel has already hinted, toing and froing one with the other, putting in a bit here, taking a bit out there, and Rachel finally trying to synch synchronize the speaking with the with the vision. And 
so I think that that I've tried to share 